Peace, everyone. Uh, welcome, everyone. I am Joy Allen. Um, today this is just a random video. Um, well, nothing's random. All is divine. I am actually um, headed to an appointment with a client. I'm leaving this library now. Um, I've been encouraged to do more lives random so this is one um, what was I saying oh yeah I'm going to see a tax client um, this client needs a temporary identification number for tax purposes so this person and their family is not eligible for a social security number. So as an authorized agent with the Internal Revenue Service, and you can find my business name listed on the irs.gov website, um, these people for tax purposes will receive a temporary identification number. Now the thing is, <clears throat> this is how this process usually works. Um, well, not usually, but this is the process. And the, the um, service sorry, phone's ringing, through the IRS is an alternative for people. So um, what people do is they go to the IRS office and they submit their tax return, excuse me, by paper. The tax returns cannot be filed electronically. And um, so they go to the IRS and submit their tax return. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a, some dust in this. Hold on. Anyway, ITN applications. The people go to the IRS, they submit their paper tax return for that year. They also submit all of their um, identifying documents. Um, the passport is a standalone document, so if you have the passport, that's the only document you need. So what happens at this appointment is the IRS confirms, they check that your tax return is completed and um, they send that out along with your um, passport identifying documents as well as your children's if you have children and they um, send it to Kentucky for processing. So this means that people are without their identifying documents um, to the IRS returns them by mail and so as an authorized agent what I am able to do is verify the documents verify the completion of the tax return and hand the um, the taxpayer their documents right back to them instead of them <clears throat> excuse me having to wait for the documents to process through Kentucky and then be sent back to them so um that's what i do is peace amber gochet peace kelvester williams peace martin boyd peace to everyone who's watching i'm driving so i'm not sure who all is here right now um but peace to all of you um yeah so as an authorized agent i confirm the documents hand it back to them instead of the taxpayer receiving the inconvenience of being in this world without their documents ids social security numbers birth certificates um I have my tax business. I've had it since 2009. This I-10 authorized agent service that I offer. Um, this is my first year offering it, but I'm well studied in it. I've um, experienced it while working. I was um, I studied it while working at H&R Block, and I definitely studied it while working at the Internal Revenue Service. So again, um, I've been encouraged to do random lives so this is it and right now in my day I'm again headed to meet with a tax client and um, <clears throat> provide them a service of convenience by, as offered through the Internal Revenue Service as an authorized agent um, if you look on that website again these numbers are for people who do not who are not eligible for a social security number and would like to file a tax return um, if you like to verify, confirm, um, 
my my placement and what I'm saying you can go to the irs.gov website type in the search box ITIN and there um, in the search you'll see a list of authorized agents and you'll see my business listed there is TNT the last T spells out Thompson filing services and um, it'll show that I'm in Indianapolis Indiana my phone number is on there contact me if you need some services but again I'm just working on going live just to be going live so I'm gonna finish my route here I'll see you all later uh, definitely Saturday I have a live plan <clears throat> excuse me with um, conscious Kirksey um, aka conscious or crazy and we will be discussing oh businesses businesses that we start because I am um, that day having a business expo and I will be peace Amber thanks I'm safe all the time appreciate that I am um, highlighting business owners um, women business owners on the first show with conscious courtesy then I would like to um, highlight the men the male aspects in a next show um, so again, I'm going to be um, having a business expo part one on Saturday. I think it's at noon Eastern Standard Time and highlighting our businesses, promoting our businesses and um, definitely doing my part to support our businesses. And um, 